Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be talking about going back to work. I don't know about you but I always have the fear, the nerves, the anxiety when it comes towards returning to the classroom after the six weeks and it's because it's been six weeks since I've been in work and I've been in front of pupils teaching. It can be quite scary, so you are definitely not alone. I think that everybody feels very, very similar towards this, but it's thinking about how we can move forward with the confidence within ourselves that we are going to smash this. But I'm gonna be talking about some memes that I've found and talking about them so that you can connect with the common fears that teachers feel when they go back in September. I'm going to read these off my phone and they will be above. Okay, I don't even need to read this one. This is how a lot of people feel after the six weeks. And it's not that people are dreading going back to work. I don't dread going back into the classroom. I have more of a fear that I have forgotten everything. Because it's been six weeks and I've been so used to not teaching in front of pupils, not having to constantly think about everything that comes towards being a teacher, that I'm so nervous when I go back because I know everything that it means to be a teacher and I'm out of practice. And it's okay to feel like this. I've had conversations with members of my department and other teachers that feel the exact same. And it's okay to feel nervous on those first few days or even weeks, I do. When another teacher tells me they're so ready to go back to school, Mm-hmm. I know the feeling. So I've been there. I've been either looking on social media or I've gone back into the school seeing lots of people who seem a lot more enthusiastic, seem a lot more prepared. Now really consider when you go back what will help you to get ready. For some people that will mean that in their summer they will feel a lot more ready if they've got all their resources ready, all their planning ready for weeks on end. Some people actually would feel more ready in the six weeks and as it comes closer towards September to get themselves ready in the fact of a routine. Some people would just feel more ready the fact of enjoying their six weeks and then coming back in and getting the ball rolling. Don't put pressure on yourself to feel like you've got to be running before you can walk. Because everybody, every teacher, I guarantee you, will feel very differently when it comes towards starting back in September. And everybody's fears are somewhat different. Like I've said, one of my big fears, and I'll be really honest and open with you, is that I've had such a break that it means getting back into the routine and having the confidence within myself. And... I still have those thoughts today, even after so many years. And what helps me to feel like I'm getting ready, personally, is that I like to just refresh myself on the schemes that I had planned for September a few days before and getting myself into a routine. But everybody is different. School starts soon. <laughs> so if you could just go ahead and only pee once a day, that would be great. This is the thing about routine. Take it easy take it easy in those first few days or those first few weeks because i actually think the hardest thing about when you go back is getting back into that routine not just for you but for the pupils and you've had a six weeks where you can do what you want you know as well as i do that teachers timetables are structured in the day you can't exactly be like i'm gonna have a break here i'm going to go to the toilet when i want you can't do that so it's, you know, I struggle with this within those first few weeks because my body and my mind have got to get readjusted towards it. So take it easy. I'm going to be talking about take it easy a lot within this video. Brace yourselves. Posts about teachers going back to school are coming. Okay, I'm going to connect this when it comes towards the power of social media. The power of social media can be such an effective thing. It can inform people, it can give people advice, hopefully what this channel is doing, and it can provide people with a mode of communication. 
But what also it can do is that it can sometimes put too much pressure on ourselves, comparing ourselves with what somebody might be doing in one school compared to what you are doing, or what another teacher might be doing to get themselves ready compared to what you might be doing. And I see it a lot on social media about people posting stuff about September, 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 even in July or August, and that's fine, I don't have a problem with it, but it's recognising within yourself that if it isn't helpful for you to keep looking on those posts, don't, because I know I can put the pressure on myself sometimes by comparing myself and thinking, look at all of what they're doing, am I doing enough, should I be thinking about this, whereas I've got this. Have the confidence within yourself. When the teacher next door has a pin interest ready room and you're still trying to unload your car, again, this comes down to you. And it comes down to just because somebody might appear like they're completely ready doesn't mean that they are. And just be mindful of not putting the pressure on yourself and comparing yourself with other people. Yes, you might be ready in a physical sense with having your lesson plans and your presentation boards and everything like that but you might not be emotionally ready so that's why you need to take it easy and take your time going into september or it might be on the opposite side that you actually feel really confident going back in but you know when you're back in towards teaching that you're gonna have to take your time to get yourself maybe a little bit ahead of the game when it comes towards planning don't compare yourself towards other people because we're all going to find going back in September somewhat different. Summer is over. Time to officially remember what day of the week it is. We've all been there. We all know it. That I get in the six weeks and I lose track of days. I'm telling you, the minute that I go back to work and after about a week, yeah, I know what the day of the working week is. You're getting back into structure, so take your time. Trying to stop thinking about the classroom issues and go to sleep. Sleep, I do honestly find very difficult in those first few days. And it's because my mind is in overdrive thinking about what if scenarios. There are things that you can control when it comes towards starting back at work, but there are some things that you can't control. And what I mean by that is not in a negative sense of you can't control things, but you don't know how pupils are going to react or you don't know how the day is going to unfold until you're within the day. Every teaching day is different. I talk about this in my other videos that we all have different moods on each day and we all feel different things on each day and things can go to plan one day, not go to plan another day, but wasting your energy and thinking about, oh gosh, there's this, this and this to do, is it helpful or constructive? No. And we all fall into those traps. I'm not sitting here and saying I'm perfect. This is more of a note to myself as well as to you lot that take it easy on yourself and maybe perhaps if you're one that sat there at night time thinking about this, this and this, do it in baby steps. See it as right. Even just the process of driving or getting yourself to work, see it as just that thing. Don't try to get your mind too fixated on all the big things that are coming up. See it as small chunks if that helps you. I know it definitely helps me. And get enough sleep. Get enough sleep. That's the end of that one, get enough sleep. You get a cold and you get a cold and you get a cold, everybody gets a cold. The reason why you need to take it easy when you go back in September is that we all know that schools, you know, you can get sick, you, you can pick up colds, you can pick up colds quite easily. And that's just because of the nature of the job, everybody kind of knows it. So the way that you can reduce this is obviously hygiene, obviously, but I mean more so about stress that we, I know, that I can end up running myself into the ground and sometimes not helping myself in the sense that I'm running myself down those first few weeks, I feel drained, I feel tired, so I'm more likely to pick things up like a cold. I'm not saying that there's a magical cure to not pick up a cold in teaching. If there was, I would be providing it and selling it. There's not. But it's thinking about ways that you can gradually transition to the year, relax and take each step at a time and make sure to focus on you and your health. What I'm going to say before my last thing is that going back in September is something to see as a positive challenge. It's a positive challenge because every year is different and it allows you to have a fresh start as well as the pupils that you are teaching. And look at all the opportunities that that can bring. If there's something that you reflected on last year that you really want to improve on, this is your opportunity right now. And with that brings me on to my last one. First day back to school, crushed it. 
doesn't have to mean it has to go perfect. Maybe it's for you within those first few days coming home and reminding yourself of, oh, I managed to do this today. Even just one thing, one thing. Don't put too much pressure on yourself going back in September. We wouldn't say it to the pupils, so we shouldn't say it to ourselves. And have the confidence within yourselves that you can do it. You know, I'm a drama teacher, so I'm, I'm quite good at this in the sense that I always read into body language. I teach about body language and I remind myself, and I always tell the pupils that I'm constantly acting because I might be putting on a brave face, but more so I am presenting myself in a character as an individual that I want to be seen as. And part of that comes with confidence, having confidence within myself so that I can present that to the pupils. And actually doing that just allows me to feel more confident within myself. They see the confidence from me, I feel more confident for seeing the confidence from them. It's a win-win situation. So have the confidence within yourself, you can do it. Take your time, take it easy and remind yourselves that you have got this. It will just take a bit of time to get back into the swing of things.